How's it going, guys? It is Tommy from Gamers Literary Republic here with some Counter Strike Global Offensive gameplay and uh, interesting commentary. Um, I'm going to be talking about a brand new uh, council making its way onto the scene called the Ouya. And what it is is it's a uh, Android powered um, gaming device. Uh, it runs off Google's Android, of course. Um, and it's a really, really unique box. It's about $100. And it's smaller than a GameCube, so like it's the smaller dimensions of the GameCube, but it is a 1080p console, so it is HD, and it is very, very unique, and I'm I'm really liking it. Um, it doesn't have too much support yet. It only has about 230 games, but um, it's open for anyone to create games. It even comes with software to create your own games off the thing, either through Unity's, um, I don't remember what it's called, but just programs you can use to uh, create your own stuff and I find that very very cool for a box that only costs a hundred dollars so this is a hundred dollar gaming console and it is surprisingly feature fact for that price tag now um, it's not gonna be as uh, graphically powerful as other things like it's, it's basically just like a tablet except it's on a giant TV and it has support for other games like that. It even has emulation support, so you can get emulators on there, and you can uh, play like all your NES or your uh, GameCube or your PC. Even they have emulators for all that. It's awesome, and I think that's a fantastic feature. But um, let's get back to more of what it does. Um, so of course it's it's going to be more. There's not going to be as many first-person shooters and stuff like that. It's going to be a lot of side-scrolling games and stuff like that. Because this thing only packs an Integra uh, 3 processor, which basically means it's the same as a tablet. So, it has the 1 gig of RAM and only 8 gigs of uh, storage. So that's not exactly ideal, but luckily for you, it does come with USB expansion availability. So it's very versatile for a $100 console, and I'm very impressed with that. But uh, let's take a look at the uh, controller. Um... Uh, it's got the touchpad in the middle, like the PlayStation, which I'm not the biggest fan of, and from what I've seen so far, it does lag the games a lot, which is uh, un unusual for uh, such a un uh, game console with such low graphical processing. So that's no big deal, but uh, they also say the controller is very blocky. Uh, they say the triggers are not concave, or they don't stick out, they're kind of just flat which is some people don't like and the fact that it's blocky is not the biggest fan but luckily for you this thing comes with USB and Bluetooth support for that so you can use your Xbox controller, your Playstation controller and any other type of USB device to just to use as a controller which is pretty dang cool I think because most consoles are not that versatile but luckily for you ooh yeah is definitely on the versatile side um... it's... it's games are very unique I will, I, will, I will definitely give him that. I saw one that, uh, I, don't, I don't remember what it's called, but you're a, you're a guy that, uh, you're kind of a, you're a redneck kick, lumberjack guy, and uh, you're just sitting there, you're like, oh yeah, we're about to have a party, yeah, and all of a sudden just stuff like, explodes, and all of a sudden your hand starts talking to you, and you have to go kill a bunch of bears and crap and deer because time has been messed up and they've been domesticated or something so it's like oh hey yeah let's go punch a bunch of people so you, oh it's called fist of awesome and what you do is you run around and you punch stuff you punch bears and kick them and just kill everything <laughs> it's freaking hilarious um, but uh... what's really cool about the game is any game that is on the Uya, Uya is free to demo before you buy it doesn't matter what it is it is free to demo before you buy all games. Like, you just go to the marketplace, you find a game you like, and boom, you click it, and you play it. And if you like it after about a half hour, you can buy it, or you can choose not to. So, that's that's a really cool feature. That's just something that gamers want. And they're kind of forming a Wii U here. They're giving what the gamers want, but they're not getting quite as much of the spotlight, which is something I necessarily don't hate, because... Um, when it gets a lot of spotlight, then they start doing stupid stuff because they know people keep buying it. So I like it when they're smaller because they just stay to their values and make sure everything works fantastic. Um, another nice little trinket they got to it is it does have uh, streaming options. You can uh, stream videos, music, all that other kind of stuff 
right to the OES, so it has the capabilities of most consoles. It's just extremely small. It's smaller than GameCube, as I said before. It doesn't have any discs. Everything is strictly download. So that is awesome. Um, uh, the, the 200, apparently, according to other people, they release new games every single day. Uh, they don't, of course, have many at this point. It was just released in June, I think. But they do have some very cool things, and uh, it's actually marketed towards retro consoles, console players. And uh, I actually looked through their game library on their uh, website, and they actually have games like Sonic the Hedgehog and um, that, that kind of stuff. And I was like, wow, they, they actually have this kind of stuff. I even saw Final Fantasy 3. I'm like, oh crap, that, that's, that's awesome. Um, they got all this stuff here, and they're such a small console, which is quite impressive. Um, a console does look pretty cool, and it seems like a console you could just carry around with you. It like it literally, you could probably just fit it in a pocket almost. It's that small, so you want to take it to your friends, no problem. It's very hassle-free um, and easy to do, and you don't even need to really bring controllers as long as your friend has an Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, or a USB controller. So that is very very cool. It's versatile. And it even has PC emulation. I don't know how it's going to do with that. It's due to the fact that a PC is so demanding compared to uh, what the Ouya has. So I'm guessing it wouldn't work so well, but you will be able to do it. And I'm sure they're, they're going to be releasing updates and stuff all the time, guaranteed. It does have its online service, up to four players. So it, it's basically just your standard day console, except with a non-standard day price of $100. And I, I, I love that price. And I'm actually going to be planning on purchasing one instead of one of the next-gen consoles. Because personally, the next-generation consoles, uh, they're overpriced and they're going to do exactly what the other ones do, except with the upgraded graphics. And my, my PC does that exact same thing, except it'll look better still, no matter what. And it does all these little features they're claiming it can do. Uh, so there's not really any reason for me to buy one. You know, I was planning on it before I even did some comparisons between the two. But if I bought any of them, it would, it would be the Wii or this Ouya, but the Ouya is not really a next-gen console. I mean, it's, it's from this generation, but it's not exactly one. But the Wii U is cheaper, it has lots of cool features, and it's just overall a better bang for your buck. The other two just don't give you that. They give you your first-person shooter fix and stuff like that, but the Wii's starting to get those, but it has cooler interfaces and stuff like that, and it's completely free. So there's no like uh, complaining about prices for online and that kind of stuff. So I don't really see the point in buying a new one. So, next year council, rule out for me. Ooh yeah, definite yes. I will either get one for, I'm gonna ask for one for Christmas or I'm gonna save up the money myself and uh, purchase one because I am loving it, and everything it stands for. And I have a feeling as it gains popularity, companies like Valve and all them will start getting more into that market. I'm not gonna see companies like I'm not seeing companies like Activision or Bungie or any of the big shots like that coming into this market just for the fact that it's not going to be able to put out demanding graphics that they people come to expect from them. But there's going to be lots of indie game developers. Uh, that's kind of what that's part. That's half of what the thing is designed for is indie game developers because it's so easy to program and every single OUYA comes with software for it. So you can do it, anyone can do it, you don't have to have much experience, it'll help. It's simple, easy, and you can do it, which is awesome. Uh, you can set up music players on it, the, I even saw an app for TuneIn Radio already, which is uh, pretty good because they're a big name. Um, so you're definitely going to get support for that app support and that kind of stuff. It definitely apps a lot due to the fact that it runs off an Android uh, Android device. So, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. And I, th I think that's going to about to wrap up this OUYA thing. So we're going to let this... Uh, I might pop anything here or two there, but this video has only got about 30 seconds left. So... Uh, I, I, I don't know if this thing has Wi-Fi, actually. I know it has Ethernet cable, but I'm not sure if they built in the Wi-Fi adapter. Uh, if they don't, they'll probably do it eventually, but I don't know if they do or not. But that's not a big problem for me since my router is literally next to my TV. But I'm guessing it has Wi-Fi built in. I, I'll have to read up on it. I'll probably put something in the description if it does or not. But I wouldn't be surprised if it did or it didn't. Uh, but 
I think that wraps up this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, rate, and subscribe. And uh, tell me if you, you would buy the Ouya. Alright. Thanks, guys.